how to make a progress bar in Roblox. So firstly, you'll need a screen GUI and then you'll need a frame. This is going to be our bar. So I'm just going to make it cover uh, a small section of the screen and I'm going to put it in the middle of the screen like this. And then I'm going to just set the anchor point so that it's definitely in the middle. And now, how do we actually make this be an actual bar? How do we show a percentage uh, as a portion of this frame? Well, what we'll do is we'll insert another frame inside of this one. And this will be the green section or whatever color you choose. I'm going to choose green because your typical progress bar is green. And we're going to set the size to be 1,1. 1, so it's going to fill the entirety of the parent frame. And you'll notice that we can actually adjust the X width of this. Uh, so it actually looks like a progress bar. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to add a UI corner. I'm going to set the corner radius to 1,0. And we're going to right click, copy, and paste this into our other frame. So both of them have got that uh, progress bar, the, sorry, that UI corner. Uh, and you will notice one thing, and that's when the inset bar, the green bar, um, gets quite small, you see that you get this, this uh, annoying little visual issue. Now, uh, how can you fix this? Well, uh, I'm not sure to be honest, and that's why I typically don't use UI corners on my progress bars. But if anyone has a solution for this, let me know in the comments. Anyway, back to the general point of how to make a progress bar. So what I'll do is I'll name the outer frame the main frame, and I'll name this inner one the inset, just so that we don't get confused. And then what we'll do is we'll insert a local script so I can show you how to code this progress bar. So I'm going to create a function. I'm going to call it update progress bar. And I'm going to take a number into this function, which is going to be the percentage. And then what we'll do is, no, I don't want to use code assist. Uh, please go away. Thank you. To change the progress bar, all we need to do is we need to get the inset. And then we'll say dot size equals udim2 dot from scale and we'll put number comma one and the number is going to be a value for the x scale so it's going to be between zero and one so when we call this function we need to provide a number between zero and one if we wanted half of the progress bar to be um if you wanted the progress to be here at half you would set the size position to 0 0.5 if you wanted it to be three quarters of the way you'd say 0 0.75 and if you wanted it to be completely full you would say one so let's imagine you have a value of cash 500 cash and let's say you have an achievement which is going to be at 1000 cash then to get our progress towards the achievement we're going to say cash divided by achievement and then we can update our progress bar with this progress towards the achievement because this is going to return a decimal value between zero and one. And then we can pass this into our upgrade update progress bar uh, function. And you don't have to use a function. You could just say script.main.inset.size equals udim2.fromscale. And you could just put that decimal number right in there without having to do any of this function stuff but i like functions because it just makes it look a little bit more neat and, and organized so what we'll do is we'll just set our inset size to be 0 comma 1 so that we have a progress bar which isn't filled up and we'll click on play and what should happen is yeah there we go it fills half of the way what we could also do is we could set up a changed event if we had this as a, a leader stat. So let me go and make a quick leaderboard. Okay, so I've created a quick little leader stats uh, script and I've also just added a get property changed signal which will detect when the value changes and when it does we can update the progress bar to have the cash value divided by our achievement value of 1000 and that will update the progress bar. So let's click on play and our leader stats are added. So let's just go and change them here. We set it to 1, 50, 200, 300, 500 and 1000 and it's updating our progress bar. 
Now there's one small issue, which is if we set the value to be greater than a thousand, the progress bar is going to go off the screen. So how do we prevent that? Well, all we have to do is we just need to clamp our number by one. So we can say number equals math dot clamp number between zero and one. And that means our value will never go over one. Even if it's greater than one, we'll cap it at one. So it will never extend to go past the bar. And if I set it to 5,000, which is greater than 1,000, you can see the bar does not go past one. So that's how you make a progress bar in Roblox Studio. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.